Hello, Marcus here, restaurant owner. I was like, restaurant owner, coach, restaurant owner, marketer, and coach. Hey, it's Marcus here, restaurant owner, restaurant coach, and marketer. I want to talk today about why it seems like most restaurants are in the furniture business. That's right, the furniture business. And I'm going to, I'm going to touch upon some, um, some cognitive biases of buying. Uh, along with this, but this is this is about your websites, folks. This is about what you're portraying on your website. And I've got to be honest with you. Somebody said, Marcus, I can't tell if this this business is a furniture business or if it's a restaurant. So go onto a website. Go onto a restaurant website. Extract the photos out when you log on. Okay. Sometimes there's food. Sometimes there's legitimately food. But a lot of restaurants like to post pictures of empty dining rooms of a couch, of a fireplace, of an empty banquet hall, tables lined up, chairs, place settings. And if you took those pictures out and then put them into a separate document and asked people, what kind of business is this? People might say, well, gee, yeah, what are they selling bar stools? What are they selling um, furniture? What are they, what, what, what is this, what is this, where would that picture really go on a website and what's it really selling? So I've been preaching this for years, for well over a decade that never post a picture on your website uh, that it's an empty dining room. And there's a couple reasons for that, okay? The main reason is, the, the, here's, here's the main reason. Because you wanna show emotion, you wanna show people having fun, excitement. You wanna show people in the moment. And this is one of the cognitive biases of buying. And you don't realize this because again, it's a bias. And a lot of people, I just had conversations with this at a big business conference with people. And people were like, I, I don't do, I don't, I'm not biased in this now. I'm like, let me give you an example of how you are. And I said to one of the people there, I said, um, would you go to a four-star restaurant or to a, uh, to a two-star restaurant? They go, oh, I just want to go to the restaurant I like. I said, okay, imagine if you were in a new city. Imagine if you were traveling. Um, or imagine if you were just going somewhere else for dinner half an hour away and you want to look up barbecue restaurants. You look up barbecue restaurants on your phone, comes up 10 restaurants, 10 barbecue restaurants, and they have ratings from four and a half stars to two stars. Which restaurant would you pick? And he goes, I'd pick one of the top restaurants. I go, there you go. That's a bias and you just proved it. He goes, oh my gosh, you're right, Marcus. I didn't even think about that. I said, so see, these biases are formed on buying and trusting the business that Pete, that you want, and trusting your business within three to seven seconds and sometimes quicker. So we have a very short tension span, uh, humans. Everybody has short, just a short attention. We want gratification. And if you're sitting there scrolling through websites and you see a website, a restaurant website that's fun, exciting, uh, engaging, entertaining, people are having a good time, smiling, laughing, as opposed to a place with just an empty bar, you're automatically, your mind, without you knowing it, is gonna go to the restaurant that has the fun and the emotions. That's just what happens. Now imagine if you're gonna spend 20 grand on a wedding, okay? And you open up a banquet hall's website and it's just a tent with all these with 150 set up, set up tables, uh, chairs, set up uh, place settings. Then you go to a website where people are dancing, it's fun, it's like, it's, it's amazing how people think or don't think as far as restaurant owners and as far as website. I see website designers make these mistakes constantly. Um, I do a speech on the five key elements that belong on your digital presence. I call it digital presence because, you know, whether it's your Facebook, this, this, and this, um, there's a lot of ways to be digitally present now. Um, but the website is your main one where you want to make sure that you have this, this, this bias covered. It's called the social proof bias, which means that you're proving that other people are having a good time. People, people are, it's herd mentality here. People are gonna just see other people having a good time. They're like, that's it. And that's called the social proof bias. There's other ones like the reward bias, the authority bias. So when you log onto a website, if you have awards, like four stars from Yelp, you put that on there because that's authority. If you were named best restaurant, best burger, and you put that on the top so people can find it easily. And of course, when they log on to your website, they're like, yeah, I want the best burger. Why would I want the best burger? You go to two restaurants, well, this place has the best burger. This place has a burger, but it says nothing about it. See, people make decisions like that. So make sure you get those pictures of, or, or mostly all the pictures. And sometimes, like on Yelp, People will upload pictures for you and sometimes or on Facebook and it's hard to control because they might see an empty dining room. They're like, oh, take a look. I'm at this bar right now and all these empty seats. Some stuff you just can't help. But when you're responsible for your website and your presence, your digital presence, make sure you're posting pictures that are really showing people having fun. Now, 
How do you get people into your restaurant to do this? Just don't take random pictures of people and post them. Let them know you're posting them, have them sign some kind of waiver, um, some kind of talent agreement. That's what we do, uh, talent agreement. And they just sign and say, hey, we can use your stuff, your, your pictures for um, for social media, for, for, for future marketing is what you call it. And there's forms you can find online. It's very simple. You can Google it and find a, a, a talent agreement. Simple one pager, um, have them sign it. You can invite friends in. You can invite friends in and you know and pose some pictures and this and that. Uh, or if you take a picture, like I like to take pictures from high above, and from there I will get, you know, where you don't really see people's faces and you can't make out who they are, but you just see a packed dining room, right? People dancing, music going, this and that, and that's cool. Or you can get a picture from behind the band uh, with a, like like a portrait like blurred out and the the uh, and the band you know right there and, and the dining room kind of blurred out. It's called portrait mode on your iPhone 10. Um, you can do it on a camera, a good camera as well. So there's ways to get people into photos like that. Um, you can buy people drinks. Say, hey, I like the guy. You guys are looking great over here. I'm having a lot of fun. Can I buy you a round of drinks and take a couple pictures and use it for marketing? Would you like to be on our website and this and that? A lot of people will say, yeah, absolutely. Sure, sure, sure. So, But ask first, okay? And have your paperwork signed in case they ever come back to you. By the way, I have my staff sign this very important piece of paper as well because their picture may just end up on social media. And you don't want a, a disgruntled staff member all of a sudden saying a year later, why is my picture on your... You can just somebody say, you know what? You signed a, a you know, a talent agreement. You signed this. You know, sometimes you might not want a big, big deal. So, you know, I'll take it down. You did sign it, so I didn't do anything illegal. Just want you to know that. Um, I'll be happy to remove it or whatever. Um, so just you want your bases covered when, it, when you're posting pictures of guests and other employees, okay? That's that's really key. Um, but definitely cover that bias, and uh, and uh, this will help you totally convert sales. And like I said, this is one of my regular speeches. I have a course on this as well. Uh, we have a digital course on this as well that just that covers the most important things that you need on your digital presence. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it, and uh, leave some comments, and I'll be happy to answer. Hey, Marcus Giuliano here. Uh, so if you like the content that I'm providing in this video, uh, you can get my book, 50 Mistakes That Business Owners Make, for free. Uh, follow the link below in the description of the video, and there's a link to get this book for free. I will ship it to you. Um, you just pay the shipping. I've got the books already here. They're already paid for. 50 Mistakes That Business Owners Make, 15 years plus of me documenting uh, my mistakes and how I corrected them and how I mastermind with some of these mistakes and how I learned from others and what I teach my coaching clients. And again, this book is totally free, so take advantage of it uh, while supplies last.